Hello everyone, welcome to my first video here on YouTube. Today I'm going to film my makeup routine for you guys, step by step tutorial, my everyday makeup routine, my soft glam, full glam, whatever you want to call it really. This is the look that I do when I go out, when I create content, do things as such. I hope you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the whole look. Alright, now the first thing I like to do with my face is just to start off with my eyebrows. So I like to gel up my eyebrows using my Got To Be Glue Gel. I'll go ahead and apply that a little bit on my brow just to gel that back. And I like my eyebrows to be like stuck. Alright, now after I go ahead and let my eyebrows air dry, I'll go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. This is the color that I use. This is the I'll go ahead and apply that on a flat brush here just to conceal underneath my eyebrows as well as underneath my eyes. Now I'll go ahead and take a little bit more product onto that flat brush just to conceal underneath my eyes. Now I believe I don't have dark circles but I just like to conceal underneath my eyes just to make sure that I'm concealing as much as I can. Now I'll just let this sit here and dry because I like my concealer to dry before I go ahead and blend it in. Now disclaimer, I did say that this was every day, but I did get a new foundation and I typically don't do foundation. So I went ahead to Sephora and I got me a NARS Soft Matte Foundation. Now I'll go in with the color on the back of my hand here with my beauty blender all over my face. Like I said before, I like for my concealer to dry. So I'll just leave this here as I put my foundation on and then I'll blend it out after. I'll go in with my damn beauty blender here all over my face. Now, I'm not much of a foundation girl, really, but I'm trying to get into it. Again, I'll go in really, really light with the foundation. I don't really like the foundation because it makes me feel a little cakey. So I just go in really, really light with that. Do a light layer. My ears, y'all know the deal, under my neck. Now for my contour, I'll go in with my Juvia's Place contour stick. Now, the packaging, the Juvia's Place is all gone. I had this for a little while now, but I'll go in with the color Katsina. Now I'll go in very lightly because with this product, Really a little bit goes a long way. So I'll go ahead and apply it right above or right beneath, I'm sorry, my cheekbones and on my forehead. And again, I would like for that to dry. Now that my concealer is dried, I can go ahead and blend that out. I'll go ahead with my blending brush here and I'll blend out my under eyes as well as underneath my eyebrows. Allow me just to dry before I go in straight and blend it right after I put in the product. It just allows it for a little more coverage instead of just going in right after you put in the product. Now that it's all blended out, I'll go in with a lighter concealer. Also again from Juvia's Place, this one is the color 13. And I'll go in with that color in my inner corner here as you can see where I put my other concealer. One thing about me, I am a sucker for bright under eyes, so I'll go ahead and end with that light concealer. Again, as I let that sit and dry, I'll go in and blend out my contour to where I have put it before. Again, I like for my product to dry because for me it is more effective and you see it more on my face when you allow it for that dry time. I just like to take it down to my chin just a little bit here, as well as my cupid's bow and my nose. Now, if you know, you know, I'll go in with that same beauty blender and blend out my under eye to get that bright effect. Again, if you know, you know. Now, blending out that under eye after it has set and dried. So I went ahead and blended out the under eye concealer, that bright under eye concealer I was talking about earlier. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my um, Makeup Forever setting powder. This is the color 4.0. Again, this is new as well. I know I was selling y'all every single day makeup, but this is new as well. Before I did use the Juvia's Place setting powder, I did like it, don't get me wrong. Only thing is that I tend to get really oily on my nose, so I did wanna try out a new product. And it comes with this cute little, um, this cute little packaging. This little Makeup Forever little bag as well as the don't mind it, I already used it. This Makeup Forever little sponge thing that I'll use to set my powder, my under eye powder. I'll go ahead with that powder underneath my eyes here. Everywhere after the concealer, I'll go ahead and use the powder. Just to make sure that under eye is set. No creases over here. Now for the eyes, for me, the eyes and the lips really make the face. It makes just everything pop. Now for my mascara, I'll go ahead and use this Voluminous Noir Balm. Just in my lashes. That is it for the lashes. Now for my eyebrows, as you can see, it is kind of like ashed out because of all the makeup that I went ahead and put on. But for my eyebrows, I'll go ahead and use this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, it's in the color Expresso, it's MVP07. And for the eyebrows, I'll just go ahead and do like light like strokes on my eyebrows, as well as buffing out at the same time, just to make sure that my eyebrows are just a tad bit darker because of all the makeup. Like I said before, um, my eyebrows now look a little ashy. So I'll go ahead with small little strikes. my lashes, I'll go ahead and use this KISS brand, it's called um, Lactations Collection. It's in the color, well in the color, in the style Royal Silk. It gives me that last extension look without actually having the lash extensions. So this is the packaging because I already done use this uh, so many times, I literally live by these lashes. Now for my lips, I'll go ahead and use the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the color brownie pie. For my lip gloss, I'll go ahead with the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline New York, and this is what it looks like, in the color 002 Ice. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and I'll come back to you guys with the final look. All right, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I pray that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.